how I turn the AC on. Shift. I like Drake with the melodies. I don't like Drake when he act tough. Today, as you can see, we're in the car again. What's new? But today I am headed out to film and create some content. I mostly do a lot of content indoors as a lot of you would know, but it's always cool to get outside and create content outside so everything doesn't have the same look and same repetitiveness. I have two outfits that I'm gonna be creating content in. The first one is basically what I'm wearing right now, except the shirt is different. I have a shirt which is, you probably can't see it behind the seat. I have a shirt hanging, which I'm gonna switch into when I get to my first location. To be completely honest, I don't even know what that location is gonna be. I'm doing everything on a whim. I'm just gonna to try to find something that seems like it looks good enough to film. So that's gonna be the goal. And that's usually how I approach content outdoors anyway. I just drive around until I find some place that looks, I don't know, aesthetic enough for whatever that look is. And sometimes I'll have like an idea in mind because you kind of got to know what you're looking for in order to find it. I have ideas, but I don't know exactly where that place is at, if that makes any sense. For my first look, the goal is to film a reel and then take pictures. And the second look is probably just going to be pictures because I already did a get ready with me reel in that second look. So I don't want to do like a whole bunch of reels with one look. That's the plan. I don't know how long it's going to take me to do all of it because right now it's 2.40. I got out of the house much later than I wanted to. Like my goal was to get up earlier and do it, but I worked too late last night. It's cool. I mean, I still got a lot of daylight left. Today is a bit of a cloudy day, which works in terms of filming content. It's overcast, it's cloudy, so we don't have any harsh sunlight. Harsh sun can sometimes just like if you, of course, film or create content or a filmmaker, you know when the sun is the highest, you have the, the harshest sun, creates so much shadows, it's, the lighting is unpredictable. It's hard to get the right settings on the camera. It's just the high sun just makes things more difficult. Thankfully, that's, those aren't the conditions that we're working with today. I am doing all of this by myself today, which has unfortunately become the new norm for me. A lot of you know that I used to have someone that used to help with you know creating content especially like you know when i used to do long form lookbooks i used to have somebody that that assisted with that but they're no longer there to help me i wish i knew why i have no clue why this person did what they did they just ghosted me and i i literally have no clue like i have a inkling of an idea but that's just me assuming because I don't know. They never even tried to have a conversation with me. It's sad that some people feel the need to operate that way, especially when it's somebody you've known for a very long time. If you're going through something, say that. Help me understand what you're going through and then maybe I can do something to help out. But they just completely just drop somebody, ignore phone calls, ignore text messages, ignore emails. It's just, that's kind of that's kind of messed up, man. It's been about a year and a half now, so I just got to a point where I was like, I don't actually need anybody. Of course, having somebody can make things more dynamic. You can have better collaborative effort. You can have better synergy. You can get better angles. So you can make better content when it's when you're with someone else, where somebody else is operating. So it's just me and my tripod and my camera, and that's what it's gonna have to be for the foreseeable future. I know how to operate my equipment, and I know I can make the content good on my own, but I also know it would be better if I had that person to help. I'm still gonna make it what I can make it, and that's really all I got, so I'm gonna just do what I can do. I'm heading downtown. Downtown or the surrounding downtown area is usually where I try to find a good location because like that's just more of like, it's more of like this, the, the street look is more of like the upscale street look, you know, I guess I would say. I'm gonna try to find some locations where I can, you know, get that a look, get that feel, get that aesthetic with this look. The second one, I might try to get a little more, I don't know how to describe it in my head, but I, I can at least have the, the vision without being able to describe it. So hopefully I can carry out that vision. It's funny because every piece of content that I go into creating, I always have a vision. 
which I think that's what you want to have when you're creating something. You always got to have a vision. It's always weird how the content comes out because sometimes it's my vision as I envisioned it. And sometimes it's nothing like what I thought it was going to be, but it still looks good. The first look is going to be more it's like a, a all white base. And then the shirt I have has like a light blue, powder blue, baby blue, like a, just a light blue color. I had a previous video where I like I showcased it in. So, you know, that kind of tells you more about where I got the shirt from. But it's a really great summer shirt. It's a knit uh, shirt that's buttoned, which has a, a, a Cuban flash cam collar. So I think it's gonna be dope, a dope look for the summer, just all white, get a real, get some pictures, and then we're gonna switch up into the second look. My whole goal is to have this complete because by the time I get to find a location, I assume it'll, I'm crossing my fingers it'll be before 3.30. But once I find that location and I set up, my goal is to have everything done in within three hours. And I also gotta keep in mind that I am vlogging too. So, in my, man. Okay, I'm gonna give myself four hours. I just thought about it. With this camera, the other camera switching outfits, it's gonna take me a, a, probably three and a half to four hours. So if I can be done with this and back home by seven, then I will consider that a win. Getting the content is, that's the most important thing. That's what we're gonna attempt to do today. made it downtown now it's just a matter of finding a decent location something that looks appealing and also got to keep the the style of the look in mind the colors of the look that's usually my approach I also try to avoid a ton of people because having so much people around you it can just be a distraction especially when you're by yourself I think I found a spot but I had to drive past it because I wasn't on that side of the street that I wanted to be on. So I'm about to spin the block and see if I can find parking nearby. It didn't seem to be super congested and super busy over there. So I think we can make it work. Hopefully I can find a spot. It's the one thing I hate about downtown. You can never find parking. Oh, maybe I should have went straight. Yeah, go straight. Oh, can I go, can I go? Yeah, I can go. Is that a parking spot right there? And this old man on his bike is about to get his ass hit. Maybe I can park here. Yeah, I can park here. But then I gotta walk. It'll be all right. All right. So it looks like I found a place to park. Only problem is there's a little bit of walking involved. Which isn't the end of the world. I think I'm gonna try to make this location right behind me work. Not entirely sure if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna try to make it work. I don't have a mic connected, so I'm using my phone as audio. So hopefully that works out in terms of audio and hopefully you can hear me clearly. I don't wanna wear the I don't wanna wear the mic connect because of course I'm gonna be taking pictures and filming and I don't want the mic connected on the clothing. So if I do decide to talk, I just grab my phone and hopefully grab the audio from this.
So I just finished the first half of the reel, which only took me like 40 minutes. That's sarcasm, by the way. I'm gonna switch directions towards the pictures and then I'm gonna come back and finish the reel because I wanna test out this rotating head that I got so I can try to have some movement even though it's static. It'll allow for me to almost look like it's on a gimbal. So it's not, it's not just fixed. So that's what I'm gonna try out, but I don't wanna put the head on and have to take the head back off to take the pictures. So I'm gonna take the pictures first and then switch back to the head. Hopefully it all goes well. All right, so I went ahead and took a couple pictures. This battery on this camera is actually about to die, so I gotta swap it out. So I didn't uh, show you guys the behind the scenes of that, but really all I did, there's a little corner right there I'm gonna show you with like some plants and stuff like that. And I went ahead and took a few. So this is really the main one I'm gonna use. It's uh, just one singular picture. I think it'll work. Something very quick and easy to shoot. It's 4.45 right now, so I only have maybe like an hour and a half to finish this reel and then change outfits and then do pictures in the other outfits. So I gotta hurry up. Finished up with that first look. That was much more difficult to do than I anticipated. I found it a bit challenging to vlog as much as I wanted to, at least even just the behind the scenes B-roll, I found a bit difficult to just set up and press the record button because my mind was so fixed on how I wanted to construct the reel and the kind of angles I wanted to get. I mentioned that I would use the rotating, the rotating thing. I didn't end up using it because I would have had to come back to the car and then get like a tool, which I use a quarter to unscrew the attachment. I was like, you know what the heck with it? I'm gonna just work without it. So I'll make sure I'm prepared next time. I just walked around the corner to see if I could find something nearby without having to drive so far for the second look. And I found a spot right around the corner, which I think is gonna work out pretty well. So I'm gonna just head around the corner and then try to get the shots over there. I gotta get back into the gym. I'm gonna go ahead and just start changing into the next look, which honestly, the main thing I'd have to change is just the pants. Cause the tank top is gonna be the base again. That makes it easy. So switch out the pants, the shoes, The shoes are gonna be these black and white two-tone loafers. Then I have a long sleeve chambray shirt that I'm gonna put on over that. The time is now 5.27, so essentially 5.30. And I told myself to be done by 6.30. I think that's what the time I gave myself. I, did I say between six to seven? Ultimately, if I can get over there and have that knocked out within an hour, then I made good timing. So I'm about to get changed and then head over to the next spot. So I went ahead and changed the pants and I just threw back on this shirt that I was wearing just so I wouldn't get the other one wrinkled. And I'm just gonna go around the corner here to that spot. Hopefully I can find a place. Oof. Sheesh. Hopefully I can find a place to park. Maybe I can park right in front. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna just park right in front. I actually gotta use the bathroom. Just number one. <laughs> I just realized when I said that what I can be interpreted as I gotta pee, but I should be able to knock this out and then wait till I get home. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. All right, boom. We got the spot. See how fast that was? It's literally right on the corner. We got the spot, so now I got to get the accessories on which is usually like necklace, watch, everything's inside this pouch. That's how I always prepare when I'm going out. Necklace and bracelet, rings in here, and then watch. I completed the look, I have on my hat sample as you can see, my jewelry, necklace, and then this uh, long sleeve chambray, which I rolled up the sleeves on. The temperature outside, 74, so it's not too, too bad. Let's get out there, set up our shot and then I will try to do a little more behind the scenes for this one. Since it's just pictures, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna take this with me and then clip it on when I wanna talk to you guys. I'm not sure how the iPhone audio is gonna come out. I won't know until I edit it, so we're gonna see. But I'm gonna try to use this one for this look. I'm gonna try to utilize this corner. I just gotta set the camera up. Let's see if I can find a good angle. Put this down here. So let's see what we can do. I'm 
trying to get the angle right in the right framing. But so far, I'm struggling with it. It's just about trying to get the right angle, the right frame, the right structure. Oh boy. Too low. All right, that's too low. I gotta bring it much higher than that. Yeah, it's too low. How long? Tilt it up more. Oh man, this is, how to set up? I think I got this shot set up. I'm gonna roll with this as is. All right, as you can see, I am back home now. I actually got home around 7.30. It's 9.17 right now. I actually made it right around the time that I expected I wanted to. It took me much longer with that second look than I thought it was going to, or at least I expected it to. I went ahead and ate when I got home, looked at the pictures that I took, looked at some of the footage to make sure everything came out okay. So far, everything looks good. So I went ahead and dropped all of that stuff on my hard drive. Now that I'm home, I wanted to open this package with you guys. This is a PR package that I received a few days ago. Just haven't had time to open it. So I'm gonna do that right now on camera. This is a PR package from YSL. I was mostly expecting it because they reached out to me about a month ago saying that they wanted to send me a new fragrance. But the fragrance they mentioned is not necessarily new. So I'm kind of confused of what's actually in here. So I know it's a fragrance. I know it's from YSL. I just don't know exactly what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. And I guess we're just going to figure out what it is together. Because like I said, I'm not sure. I don't know why I do that kind of stupid stuff. I just cut towards my damn self and I'm going to put a hole in my stomach. Cut away from you, buddy. So let's see what we got here. All right, so we have a little note here. So we have that in there. If it's YSL myself EDP. Okay, I actually already have this. They said it was a new fragrance. I'm almost certain it's the same fragrance. This is the same fragrance. I'm almost positive this is the same exact fragrance. I'm gonna double check to make sure it's the same fragrance. I'm almost certain it's the same. Here's what I'm gonna do, because it doesn't really make sense for me to have two of the same fragrances. I think I'm gonna give this away. I didn't intend on doing that. And to be honest with you guys, I don't necessarily love giveaways. I did one giveaway in the past and it was like a long time ago. I will be surprised if anybody from back then, from nine, 10 years ago is still subscribed and watching my content. Back then, you know, I was new, still trying to learn to figure everything out. And my growth on YouTube was, it was kind of like quick. In 2014, when I started YouTube was like, it, was, it wasn't like it was a new concept. Well, I guess the whole uploading on videos, like that was fairly new. It wasn't as saturated as it is now. I started with like just sharing my sneakers, doing, you know, clothing hauls. This stuff that I, I had a lot of interest in, I just didn't know it would like, grow the way it did. And I didn't know that people's interests would be so one dimensional. 
which means mine had to be. I, I didn't fully understand that, but long story short, I did a giveaway back then. If I remember correctly, like the rules of the giveaway was basically like subscribe to the channel, like the video, follow my Instagram, just like that kind of stuff. I had no clue that the people who didn't win would be so sour and so butthurt that they would start on following me and like disliking the video. It really put a really sour taste in my mouth when it came to giveaways to the point where I realized when it comes to the social media game, most viewers aren't, they don't really care about you. Maybe it's not the way I should be looking at content creation and being a creator, but unfortunately that is the reality. Although I want to give this away to somebody, I don't want to give it away to somebody who's not going to want to appreciate it or somebody who's going to basically pretend to support me even though they don't just so they can get this free fragrance. Am I looking at that the wrong? I, I don't know if I should feel that way or not, but I want to give this away. This is what we're going to do. Down below in the comment section. If you want this fragrance, just tell me how long you've been subscribed to my channel, how long you've been watching the videos, and just let me know what you like about the channel, what kind of value you get out of it. And maybe like I'll choose somebody who I know I see all the time who's always supporting. If you say you want this, I'll send it to you. Only thing I ask that you do is just pay shipping. But I don't want it to give it to somebody who doesn't really support. But if you are somebody who is going to get this, you at least got to be like active in it in the comment section. You got to you know, at least like the videos. You gotta at least be following me on IG, following the second channel. You at least gotta be a supporter of me because I would like to do way more giveaways. I don't wanna give stuff to phony people who don't really care about me or my content. I don't wanna do that. And I feel like my first giveaway I did, that was the case. People were just phony. If I do more giveaways, it have to be the people that actually support me and it's gonna rock with me and my content and my channel moving forward. That is kind of how I feel about it. So that's where I'm at with it. So I have this brand new fragrance, why I sell myself. I actually do own it. This is my bottle from last year. I actually put it, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, I put a little bit of a dent in that one. I like the fragrance. It's a really good spring summer fragrance. If any of you guys are interested, this fragrance could be marketed as unisex. So if I have any women out there who want this fragrance, of course, just let me know. I mean, I can send it to a guy or a female. It doesn't really matter your gender. It's an amazing fragrance. I do like it. So if you are interested, let me know down below in the comment section. Oh, I didn't say how long I would run this for. Honestly, I'm not going to put a time. You know what? I'm going to give it a couple weeks. I'm gonna give it a couple weeks before I choose somebody to send this to. You have two weeks just to drop some comments down below and just make sure you support it. Just like the video, drop a comment, follow me on IG, follow the second channel, just stuff like that. And then I'm gonna send this to one of you guys two weeks from the day this video goes live. But anyway, that does it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I look forward to sending this out to somebody so one of you can enjoy it and smell great or have your partner smell great, whoever it is. But that does it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Peace.